Trump was fired up about John Deere in particular. I'm just notifying John Deere right now. If you do that, we're putting a 200% tariff on everything that you want to sell into the United States. I buy a lot of John Deere, tremendous. Our country's going to make a lot of money, or they're not going to build, they're not going to open, or they're going to sell it to another country. They're entitled to do that. Trump was fired up about John Deere in particular, and a bigger trend, which is outsourcing American manufacturing to low-cost manufacturing countries, and in some cases where they use slave labor or stuff that is close to slave labor in places like China and elsewhere. And then they ship their stuff back to the United States and they sell us crap while they're basically hollowing out America. And we've had enough of it. We've had enough of the globalization of everything. There's no reason for it. We have a nice continent right here. We have tons of resources right here. We have a group of people that we should be working to support who are citizens of this country, not outsourcing and stripping America down to the bone. And Trump's tired of it. He was fired up here. This is what it sounded like. Great clip. I, I just noticed behind me John Deere tractors. I know a lot about John Deere. I love the company. But as you know, they've announced a few days ago that they're going to move a lot of their manufacturing business to Mexico. I'm just notifying John Deere right now. If you do that, we're putting a 200% tariff on everything that you want to sell into the United States Ooh. so that if I win, John Deere is going to be paying a 200%. They haven't started it yet. Maybe they haven't even made the final decision yet, but I think they have. Uh, John Deere is going to, and anybody else that does this, because it's hurting our farmers, it's hurting our manufacturing, and if you do that, you're going to have a 200% tariff put on the product that you make in Mexico, right across the border. They think they're going to make product cheaper in Mexico, and then sell it in for the same price as uh, they did before, make a lot of money yeah, by getting rid of our labor and our jobs, and, and really a great name, because John Deere is a great name. I buy a lot of John Deere, tremendous. I'm one of their big customers. I buy a lot of John Deere product as a private person. But if they're going to do that, we're going to put a 200% tariff on everything that they want to send back into the United States, which means one of two things. Our country is going to make a lot of money or they're not going to build, they're not going to open, and uh, or they're going to sell it to another country. They're entitled to do that. If they want to build in the country, in the United States, there's no tariff. You can go ahead and you can build in any one of the 50 states. You can go ahead. But if they don't want to do that, we're going to put a 200% tariff on John Deere. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to announce very shortly. If they think I'm going to win, or if I do win, they're going to announce that they're not going to build in Mexico. They're going to have to pay a tremendous tariff, which means two things. They're not going to build the plant if it's not too late. They're not going to build the plant. This country is going to make a lot of money, or they're going to build the plant, but they're going to build it in the United States somewhere, and ideally a place like Michigan or South Carolina, where we have a lot of auto business, uh, but we're not going to let that happen. But John Deere has got to understand that if they build in Mexico, if they start closing plants, in this case it was in Iowa, they're going to close their, a big plant and a couple of them. And that's just the beginning. The problem is that's just the beginning. Then all of a sudden you'll hear in a year from now they're going to do another one, another one. All of a sudden they're not going to be in the country anymore. They're going to have to pay a very big price to be able to sell that product. Yeah, we're tired of building other countries, building their factories, their facilities, employing their people, and then having them just sell their stuff back to the United States. And the corporations all just get rich because they have basically slave labor and then they exploit the American people. You see it in every industry. You see it in pharmaceuticals. They just come here and, and grift off us and our stupid politicians allow them to do that. And so Trump is saying enough already. And I couldn't be happier to hear him say that. And we are tired of it. So that's great news.